Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles in Mansfield, Texas. And I'm here today to show you a really cool 1974 American LaFrance pumper fire truck. This belonged to the Volunteer Fire Department in Gallatin, Sunnyside. I believe that's up in Pennsylvania. It's a fully functional fire truck. It's got excellent tires all the way around. The paint is in really amazing condition considering it's a 1974 model. All these controls here, I couldn't begin to tell you what they all do, but there's all kinds of valves and pumps and all kinds of stuff. It's got a water level gauge, so I assume it has a big water tank on it. There's storage compartments all over. Even comes with a couple of fire hats. More storage compartments. They're all painted inside as well as outside. This is the rear cargo area. And it looks like there's kind of a tow hook there in the middle. It's powered by a monstrous Cummins diesel engine. Uh, I don't know what size it is or what horsepower, but it is huge. Maybe some of you Cummins experts might recognize this motor and know what it is. But it's got a lot of power. The pump is a PTO drive. That's your air filter. This is the area where the firemen ride back here in the back. It's got a little split there on the seat. On, on the driver's side, you can see the paint on the door panels is excellent. Some of the chrome on the mirrors is starting to rust just on the surface, but it's fully functional. It's got the siren controls, the, all the lights, all that works. It's got a control that says dry road, sli slippy road. I guess it's a, some sort of traction control. But when you put it in fourth gear, it goes in fourth gear, but fourth gear is actually the PTO to engage the pump. And that's your control right there, but you basically disengage the transmission and engage the pump. It's got air horns. You got two, two lines to pull for the air horns. Real loud. It's got code three lights, little over cab lights. The driver's seat showing a little bit of wear. It's got a couple splits. It's got the battery cut off where you can run one or two batteries. But overall, she's in good shape. She runs good, drives good. American LaFrance is a top quality fire truck manufacturer. In like fact, they still make fire trucks today, but some of you old school or retired guys have probably, they pro you probably know how to work this truck. There are a few flaws in the truck. There's a few little rust bubbles coming up here on the passenger side. They're just surface. Uh, I haven't been able to get this door open. Not sure if it's locked. It's missing a handle on the inside, so it, it might be locked. But all the like leaf springs have grease circs, and they show that they've been serviced and greased. Got nice Goodyear tires, more pump connections on this side. You also have three different ladders. And these big hoses, I don't know, there's some kind of connector hoses. Inside here is a Cummins parts catalog, a Cummins diesel engine service manual. And then the American La France, there's two books here that I assume tell you how to, how to work the pump, how to check it, safety checks, maintenance checks, all that kind of good stuff. There's even a license plate in here. It's expired. You can see it expired in 2011, so the truck was in service fairly recently. Uh, it's a Pennsylvania tag. This is the other side where a person can sit or stand. There's no cushion on this side. And again, that monster Cummins right there in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and start this bad boy up and let you hear it. This is something that was interesting to me. It has a panel box. Uh, it shows 220 volts. I guess you can plug your washer and dryer in here if you want. Uh, it's got outlets, so it must have some sort of power generator, power inverter. Probably run off the, the Cummins motor. It's even a, it looks like a panel box like you'd see on a house. But it's got plugs all over it. Again, I'm not sure how it all works, but there you have it, 1974. 
American La France. And I will show you how to start this little dude. You turn your batteries on where it says both. Pull this little button out right here. Push in the clutch. And she goes to life. I think fire trucks are kind of like military vehicles. They're made to be pretty bulletproof. It's got dual batteries, so she'll always start. There's no keys to this fire truck, but when you think about it, you don't want to be looking for keys when somebody's on fire. Well, we thank you for looking. We thank you for your time. If you're looking for a fire truck, please consider this one. Have a great day. This is Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails.